Hi, I'm Julietta from the Ensemble Outreach Team. This video addresses how to identify sequences that may be involved in gene regulation along the genome, most of which is based on ENCODE information. If you're watching this video, you may already be in the matrix. If you're not, you can get there by searching for a gene from the home page. I will change the roll-down menu to Human and look for CFTR, the cystic fibrosis transmembrane receptor gene. Click Go, expand gene, human. I'm going to go straight to the location. The region in detail allows us to view data along the genome. Learn more about this page by watching this video. To add regulation data, go to Configure this page, move down to the Regulation section, and I'm going to click on Open Chromatin and TFBS for Transcription Factor Binding Sites. For now, I'll hide the tutorial. What are we looking at? This matrix allows me to turn on data like DNAs1 hypersensitive sites and transcription factor binding sites for the human genome. Data is from a subset of ENCODE experiments and roadmap epigenetics data for human. And you can also use the matrix in mouse pages to view ENCODE-based data. For more about where the data is coming from and how Ensemble processes it, have a look at our documentation. I'll mention how to view the full ENCODE dataset at the end of this video. Now back to the matrix. The y-axis shows indicators of open chromatin, DNAs1 hypersensitivity and fair binding, and different transcription factor binding sites. Along the x-axis, we have different cell types and a multi-cell option that brings together the data for the single cell types. Dark blue boxes are on, light blue boxes are off, and gray boxes mean there is no data for that particular feature in that particular cell type. By default, all the DNAs1 hypersensitive sites are turned on for all cell types, but does that mean they are shown automatically in the region in detail view? No. To show the data in region in detail, I have to choose either the multi-cell option or an individual cell type. Clicking on the box underneath the cell line GM12878, which is a lymphoblastoid cell line, I have the option to draw the data as boxes, a signal track, or both. I'll choose both for now. If I close the matrix now, I will only see data for the dark blue boxes under GM12878. These will be DNAs1 hypersensitivity and CTCF binding sites only. To turn on all possible data for GM12878, I hover over the label and select All. Now all the data boxes available turned blue are switched on. OK, let's close the menu and see what we get. In this particular region, for the CFTR gene, I see DNAs1 hypersensitivity, CTCF binding sites, P1, RAD21, and SP1 binding sites across multiple experiments. Zoom in to one of these by drawing a box around the feature. Let's have a look at the other matrix that turns on histone polymerases and Paul binding sites. Click on the cogwheel icon to configure this page. That brings me back to the matrix I was in. I'm going to click on Histones and Polymerases. This matrix behaves in the same way as the first one we saw for open chromatin and transcription factor binding sites. I'm going to show you a couple more features. 
You can drag and select boxes on most updated browsers, but this won't work on Internet Explorer 8 or below. I'm using Chrome, so it will work. This turns on a region of the matrix. Notice that if I do turn on some histone modifications, the corresponding cell type is automatically selected. If you're only interested in polymerases, for example, you can choose them in the filters. This simplifies the matrix. You can even type in one cell type if you don't want to see the others, for example, HUVEC cells. Or type in a particular histone you're looking for. Maybe it starts with H2BK. A bit of advanced search functionality. If you search for a term with a space in it, for example, HeLa space H3K, you get cells which match both of the terms HeLa and H3K. However, if you use quotes, either single or double in the search, I'll put quotes around HeLa and quotes around H3K. You get cells which match either of the search terms. Our ENCODE track hub, which allows display of all ENCODE data, works with these same type of matrices. To add the track hub, the easiest way is through the ENCODE page on our website. Go to the home page, click the ENCODE icon, and then follow the link to the track hub. Since it's a lot of data, it really slows the configuration page down, so don't worry if it takes time to load. You will see two numbers in a cell like this one. It shows how many pieces of data are in the cell and how many are displayed at the moment. So for example, 0 out of 1 for this cell type is shown. And you do have cases where there are two different possible experiments. You can click on that to find out what the two are. That's it. Do let us know what you think of the matrix or send any questions to our help desk.